Um, I'm going to share a story. It's a remarkable story. It's not a happy story, but uh, it's a story nonetheless. That it's a stark reminder of, of the reality of the world. When you're in a hostel, obviously you're pretty aware of uh, what's going on around you. It's, they're pretty transient sort of places. And, um, and I woke up this morning about, uh, about 4.35 o'clock. I heard some sort of rustling and the guy next to me was sort of packing. Uh, young guy, 19 years old apparently. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, I saw him at breakfast. I said, oh, I had a, another guy who was helping me interpret. And I said, oh, I thought you were going. And uh, he said, oh, no, no, the, it was called off. I said, what do you mean it was called off? Your bus was cancelled? It turns out <clears throat> this guy's from Ecuador. Uh, he's got no papers here. He's got no passport. Um, he's in a really precarious position trying to get to the US. And... Um, and uh, the people who are trying to get him over the border, <coughs> that sort of stuff happens at, at sort of on a split second. He gets a call, and then it's, right, we've got to go. So the people smugglers, I guess. And it's a reminder of <coughs> just how, how awful and desperate a situation must be in Ecuador, that he's in a country with no passport, no papers, in Mexico, which, is, which if you get caught, you get thrown out of Mexico. And they, they don't take it lightly either. He, the immigration police are really full on. And... Um, they're always checking buses and stuff for illegal immigrants in this country, which is uh, probably not what most people think. Most people probably think it's a free-for-all, but it's not. The Mexicans take the sovereignty of their borders very, very seriously. Um, but this guy who's 19 years old, I mean, he's a child. His whole family, he was traveling with his family. His family have all been caught, so they've all been sent back to Ecuador. So he's on his own. And, um, you know, he'd rather be in the States. I mean, God knows, you know, he gets to the States with no papers, if he gets in at all. Uh, no papers, no, no passport. He'd be treated like a slave anyway, which, you know, the concept of slavery being over in the States is just bullshit because there is modern-day slavery in the States everywhere. Um, and it happens all over the world. But, you know, this sort of concept that the, the America is the bastion of freeness and of freedom and, and everyone getting equality, it's just not true. Um, and it was just remarkable that this kid, I mean, he wanted to go, he was asking if I was going to Juarez. Juarez is not far from where I am at the moment. It's... Um, but it's incredibly, it's, it's, it's mucho peligroso, <coughs> which means it's, terrib it's terribly dangerous. It's, it's a real hot spot for narcos, uh, cartel gang warfare, somewhere that I'm not prepared to go to. It's a very, very dangerous area. Uh, it's, it's not far from me, a couple of hours, it's, but it's a real sort of crossroads of, of, um, of sort of trafficking. Um, but this is just, you know, it's a reminder of sort of how, how grateful I am that... Um, you know, we don't get a choice of where we're born or to the family we're born into. It happens. And then we, we want to say it's God's will. But I was lucky enough to be born into, uh, into a, uh, in Australia. It's a reminder of just how, how incredibly fortunate and grateful I am that that is the case. Because this kid, and he's a child, and his whole family are counting on him now. His whole family are obviously in a terrible position because his family are counting on him to get to the States to work for probably fuck all as a slave. With no papers, I mean, God knows what his future's going to be like. If he gets caught there, he'd be sent back to Ecuador. But they must be so desperate. It's, it's a really remarkable story. You know, that he's sort of living his life on, the, on tender hooks for this phone call to happen in the middle of the night where he packs everything up, disappears, and gets put into a car or whatever and makes the sort of runs a gauntlet over the border. Um, and, you know, God willing, or, you know, he, he makes it, or heaven forbid he doesn't make it. God knows what happens to him then, but a real... Um, yeah, it was quite a, quite a touching story, I have to say. I was, I was very moved by it. And, you know, he must, the, the fear in this kid. Um, I can't imagine 19 being in such a situation like that. I mean, you know, 19 years old, I was more worried about last orders at the pub. You know, this kid, is, he's got his whole family on his shoulders just trying to get over the border. You know, just goes to show you how lucky we are, people.